Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Today Apa is going to make Kuei Tiao Kiang. I found, I managed to see some Kuei Tiao Kiang available at the local uh, tea market. So I bought it, yeah, the smaller uh, size of uh, Kuei Tiao. How much you need depends on how many people you want uh, to feed, okay? Um, so, uh, the Kuei Tiao Kiang usually is uh, made out of a braised soup and uh, we, we shall be using some duck and I'm going to mix with some pork belly to make the braised soup together. So, uh, first of all, of course, you need to uh, blend your duck and also um, pork belly first, yeah? Blend it and then clean it. So that will um, remove at least 90% uh, of the gaminess from your meat. Then we will also put in some uh, firm tofu and also some hard boiled egg. And let's take a look at how do we make the braised broth. It's not difficult at all. We shall need some, uh, let me see here, we have some uh, minced ginger, garlic, shallot and also coriander roots. And we have about one tablespoon of rock sugar. And here we have um, two pieces of um, cinnamon stick, three pieces of star anise, one black cardamom, uh, one candle nuts. Uh, no, this is not candle nut. This is um, anyway. This is um, suddenly so cold. So cold in English, suddenly I forgot, but this is optional, not so important. It's actually so cold. And then two pieces of bay leaf underneath, and this is one teaspoon of um, five spice powder. And of course, you will need some ch chicken stock at the side here, yeah. And this is means uh, chopped spring onion, more for garnishing. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, sauteing the herbs. Give it about two to three tablespoons of oil to start with. Put in the ginger, garlic, shallot, and also uh, coriander roots. You may also put in some minced uh, galangal. I don't have galangal with me. So we are going to saute this for a minute or two to really bring out the nice fragrance. What we are going to do here it is to um, build the soup base, yeah? Build the braised broth first. We come back shortly. We probably need a little bit more oil. Okay, this is after about 2-3 minutes sauteing. Some of it has already started to turn brownish. This is the time where we can actually Add in the herbs. With the fuster. Then we shall add in the chicken stock. How to measure how much water or chicken stock to put in? Well, uh, just to make sure at least all your ingredients will be nicely submerged inside the broth. So now we are going to start making the braise. And we are going to start with... Uh, eh? Where's my light soya sauce? It's the most important part. Light soya sauce. One, two, three, four, five. Four to five tablespoons easily, yeah, to start with. And then some saoxing wine. And then uh, all the ingredient list I use, uh, I will put inside in uh, the video description, okay? And about two to three tablespoons of dark soya sauce for the color. Be careful with uh, the usage of dark soya sauce here because if you put too much, your whole braise will be bitter. So we just need it to give it the black color. See? Immediately it turns darker. 
And not forgetting we have our um, this is the sugar, rock sugar. Ah, very fragrant. And I'm going to put some salt. Okay, it is now boiling. This is the time where we can put in the blanched meat. This is the duck. This is the pork belly. And I have the uh, tau, tau fu, or you can use tau kwa. Basically, this is fun tofu, okay, and also the egg. Right. So now it is already boiling. What you want to do next is uh, to bring down to medium or medium low and let it simmer for approximately half an hour. Okay, this is after about 25 minutes, simmering under medium low heat, yeah. Uh, I have some fried fuzhou here, my wife's favorite, so I'm going to cook it also. This fried fuzhou is already cooked, so you just have to heat it up, soften it and then it's done. And I'm going to take out the meat especially the duck i don't want to overcook the duck it can be very very uh, chewy if it's overcooked actually um, if you are using the whole duck you are probably looking at cooking low uh, at about 30 to 40 minutes but this is like duck parts yeah you don't actually probably about 20 minutes is good enough if you are not sure it is cool uh, whether it's fully cool or not you just poke uh, using a chopstick to poke poke through the meat and if you don't see any blood water coming up that is already cooked just like how you do the Hainanese chicken exactly the same the pork belly confirm fully cooked as well okay I'm going to take one out let it rest at the side and the egg let it rest at the side for a while before I cut. Yeah. Let it cool down a little bit. And meanwhile, we can make the kway teow. Okay, we have done the meat. Now we are going to make the kway teow. So boil some uh, chicken stock. Put in some kway teow. Just boil it for probably about 10-20 seconds will do. Very fast. Immediately it is softened. And we can take the kway teow into a serving bowl. Ah, I should have used a colander okay so here's the serving bowl and we are going to put a little bit of the chicken stock here and mix with the broth put a bit more chicken stock okay you can put a little bit of salt in the chicken stock if you want to right you can season it yeah and spring onion, lots of it. Fried garlic, also lots of it. And garnish it with a little bit of this is a uh, crispy pork lard, okay, pork crackling. Let me add a little bit more chicken stock. Okay, we are almost done. Just put some broth over here. You can actually put some cucumber at the bottom, yeah? Sliced cucumber. 
So we have uh, this is the duck, this is the fuzu, yeah, the fried fuzu, this is the pork belly, the egg, and also the tofu. Put some fresh coriander on top. Some spring onion. And a little bit of fried garlic. Okay, done. That's my very simple version of Gui Tiao Kia. Alright, so I hope you will enjoy your dinner with your family. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.